Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna show you how you can use blurring on your photos to create depth of field, and also how you can use blurring to remove objects and uninteresting areas from your photo. So let's start with this photo here. I have this photo and it's sort of a minimalistic shot, just looking straight up at the sky. There's some interesting areas in this window area here and this mechanism right here and sort of this, this piping right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring the viewer's eye into this middle area. Well, if I look at my info, it looks like I shot it at 5.6 aperture. Well, what I wanna imitate is I wanna imitate a very shallow depth of field here. I wanna make it look like it was maybe shot with a 1.8 or a pretty shallow lens. So I'm going to go into effects, I'm going to add a filter, and I'm going to add lens blur. And what I wanna do is I wanna go to my masking gradient and I wanna drop it down, and I just wanna drag it to where I want the focus to start. And I want the focus to start right about where I want the viewer's eye to be, because that's probably where that depth of field would be if I shot that with a 1.8 lens. So it's going to be pretty tight focus. So let's play with the feathering a bit. And now that I have the bottom part blurred out, what I wanna do is to create depth of field, this top part would also have to be blurred out as well. So I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to add lens blur. And I'm going to, once again, grab the masking gradient. And I'm going to drop it down up here and then rotate it, straighten it out, and then pull it down so that I can create really shallow depth of field. Okay, and the number one rule when doing this is to really look at your photo and think about what would be in focus and what wouldn't be in focus. So if I just pulled this masking bug down, it's going to blur the top of my photo, but it's also going to blur this little area here. Well, that area would probably be in focus because, I, because my camera was tilted up right here so I have to make sure that the focus is not falling off on this arm right here. So let's make sure that we pull it up, probably right above it, and then let's play with the feathering. And there we go. So now if we go and view it, and now if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, you'll see that it really draws the viewer's eye into this middle area here and sort of removes this distraction of the top part and the bottom part of this photo. So now we have a similarly shot photo, which rather than looking up to shoot the photo, I actually shot this just looking down at these meters here. And the only thing I did is I added a LUT on here to just sort of stylize it real quick. And so to create more depth of field and to create sort of a really shallow depth of field look, I shot this with 3.5, so I wanna make it look like a 1.8 again. So let's add a filter and let's add lens blur. And again, grab the masking bug and we'll drop it down and then we'll just turn it so it's straight up and down. Then we'll pull it over to where we want the focus to start. And now what we can do since it's pretty shallow focus there already, is we can up the amount of the lens blur. And you'll notice you, you can get really, really obnoxious with the amount of blur you can use. But if you sort of use it gradually and then mess with the feathering, and if I turn it on and off, you'll see that it does a ton to blur that and really draws the viewer eyes right here. So now we're gonna do the same thing we did with the last photo and we'll drop focus on the side right here rather than on the top. So let's add a filter and let's add lens blur and let's go to our masking bug and drop it down, turn it around and just sort of move it where you want the focus to start again. And then we'll just play with the amount again. It seems pretty okay at about like right there. So if we view our original file, the focus does a whole lot to bring the viewer's eye into this area right here and remove this area and this uninteresting area as distractions. 
So now that we've gone over how to create depth of field with lens blur, I wanna show you how you can use it to blur out distractions and objects from your photos. So I have this photo here and I really wanna sort of remove these areas as distractions, but I like them in the photo. I just wish they were a little blurred, a little softer, and they didn't stand out as much. So a great way to sort of tone down objects in your photo is to use lens blur. So if I head over and I add a filter and I add lens blur, what I want to do is I want to sort of use this area as my guide, as well as these lines from the flower, as my guide on where I want the blur to be in my photo. So let's grab our masking bug and drop it down. And I'm just going to rotate it in a manner so that it sort of lines up with this leaf right here. But I don't want it to cover the leaf because the focus would be on the leaf and there would be no blurring of the leaf. So let's pull it down and make sure, oops, Let's pull it down and make sure that it's not on the leaf. There we go. And now again, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to sort of use this area as a guide. And so I'll add another filter. I'll add lens blur and I'll grab my masking bug, drop it down, use that as a guide. There we go. And now if I view this and I head over here and I'll collapse these two filters. And if I turn them on and off, you'll notice that they do a ton to remove these areas as distractions and sort of bring this area to the foreground and uh, really make it pop. So using lens blur is a great way to create depth of field on your photos, but it's also a great way to sort of dilute distractions from your viewers. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dylan with On One and stay tuned for more.